Hello, and welcome to Strug Free Cocktails. Whoa, <laughs> where I have already struggled. And Kayla, have you struggled? A little, but not as much as you. Where we have both struggled, so now you don't have to. Woo, struggling. So today, I brought my friend Kayla with me. Kayla and I actually used to work together at ABC Cocina. Kayla, tell them a little bit about yourself. I did work with this beautiful creature for about three years at ABC Cocina. <laughs> uh, I've been bartending for about four years now, and I love it. What Kayla won't tell you is that she's a fierce competitor. She does a lot of bartending competitions, which is really awesome, and she wins a lot. I like winning. I actually, like, we do have a Strug story. One time I was opening Low Boy, which is like the little refrigerators um, that are that's under the bar, and Kayla was getting something out of the bar and I opened it on her face and I gave her a black eye. You Wait. atoned, yeah, you got me a, a oh, little I did. A makeup present the I, next day. I got her a makeup present because I felt really bad. We wanted to talk about a cocktail that we both love and a spirit that we both love. So we're doing a classic cocktail with a twist. I'm loving the twists on classic cocktails lately. Absolutely. And so we are making a mezcal last word. So a last word is a type of drink called an equal parts cocktail, which means that each ingredient is in the same amount. What, what is in a last word? So traditionally a last word is lime juice, maraschino liqueur, green chartreuse, and in this case, mezcal. Mezcal is a spirit that's become more and more popular. Mezcal is sort of like tequila's cooler older brother. Um, they're both made with the agave plant, but tequila can only be made with the blue agave plant, whereas mezcal can be made with one of 30 varieties or multiple 30 varieties of agave. One of the big differences between tequila and mezcal is that mezcal is roasted in the ground before it's fermented, so it has a really nice smoky flavor. Right, mezcals definitely can range in terms of smokiness, but the main characteristic between mezcal and tequila is usually the smoke thing. So, okay, one of the other, <laughs> did we already say that? I'm so yeah, stupid, I whatever. Think we Editing, um, okay. <laughs> so another, um, Liqueur? What, is it a liqueur? Chartreuse is a liqueur. Okay, so one of the other, I'm a bartender, I'm a professional. Kayla knows a lot about chartreuse. Yeah, chartreuse does have um, a few things in common with mezcal, and mostly it's the deep history that's behind, that's behind both. So families and farmers have been making mezcal for hundreds of years, um, whereas chartreuse is the oldest liqueur in the world. Uh, it's made by monks in France, and it's really cool because the recipe is kept super secret. It's never been written down, and only three people know the recipe at any given time. Uh, there's 130 different herbs and botanicals in each bottle, but no one really knows what they are. Chartreuse is available in two types. There's green and yellow. The yellow one has a little bit of a light honeyed quality. Um, it's lower alcohol, so it's really approachable. Um, the green one is super fun. Green chartreuse to me is so specific, but it's, I guess the main thing I would say is it's super herbaceous and bright. Definitely herbaceous, like you said, where I get more notes of oregano and a lot of green herbs. So let's make this freaking thing. Okay, so, so equal parts for everything. So we're gonna do one ounce of lime juice. One ounce of maraschino liqueur. One ounce of green chartreuse. Look at her fingers, she's so profesh. I do that sometimes when I'm like feeling cool. I want out some mezcal. <laughs> and we're gonna shake at the same time like professional. Well, I don't know if that's professional. Back to back. Look at her shake! Look at her! So Kayla does a fancier shake than me. <laughs> so whenever I try to do that shake, I look so stupid. Alrighty. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. I'm so excited. Okay. So when you drink mezcal, you're supposed to say Stigi. Stigi, Stigi Bayo. Stigi. Oh, it's delicious. Holy shit. Can I say holy shit? <laughs> it's my show. I this love the way perfect. all the ingredients play off one another. That's kind of the thing about Equal Heart cocktail. cocktail is that all the ingredients flow together nicely. This mezcal also works really well because it's like not super aggressive, so it blends really nicely with everything, I think. Yeah, you get the lime on the front palate and then the chartreuse and there's a touch of smoke on the finish. It's delicious. So, 
What are you waiting for? Don't give your friend a black eye. Have a strike-free day. Go, Go make, make yourself a cocktail. <laughs> hey guys, thank you for watching. Click on the link below to get to eastdrugs.com and it'll take you to the full recipe. And also, please subscribe because that's, that's what I need. I need you to subscribe. Okay, bye.